Hi everyone, I'm Jess Maurer. I'm here from Fit for Mom headquarters to lead you through a short flow and go for your day. This is a section of all of our stroller bar classes that really helps you with mobility and flexibility, plus bringing you back into some mindful movements. You don't need anything to get started, so let's do it. Feet are gonna be right underneath your hips. Give your toes a little wiggle. Soften your knees and then bring it back up. Roll the shoulder blades into your back pockets. Place your hands on your hips now for me. I want you to just rock your hips side to side. Good, come back into the middle and go front and back. Beautiful, come into the middle and I want you to find that happy place that's in between all of those areas you just explored. Tailbone goes down to the floor and we zip up through the pelvic floor, through the rib cage, shoulder blades, back pockets, crown of the head to the sky. It's what we call proud posture or strong posture. Beautiful, I'm gonna come in to our prayer hands. Release, stretch up for me. Take a flat back forward, place your hands on your thighs and relax your head. Soften and roll up. Now this time, I want you to try to go a little further. We come into prayer, we release. We come up, we dive forward. Can you go a little bit past your knees? Relax your head, soften and roll up. Nice big shoulder roll. Here we go, inhaling and release. Good, up now, dropping it down a little further. Relax and roll up. This is your last one, inhaling and release. Good, up. Far forward, as you feel comfortable, relax the head, relax the neck. Soften and roll. Nice job, take your feet out wider than your hips. Okay, a little bit further. A little bit more? Great job, mama. From here, I want you to find your hips right in between your heels. We're still zipped up, pubic floor, excuse me, pelvic floor, up through the ribs, up through the shoulders. Shoulder blades, back pockets, arms out. We're gonna rotate one foot. Soften down. Now I want you to think about shoulders over ribs over hips. If you notice that you need a little bit more space, that's okay. Use your foot and just inchworm out as we take this stance. Now bring the elbow down and stretch over. I want you to think about fingertips to shoulders to hips to pinky toes. Come back to where you were. Do that again for me. Lean it over. Back up. You have two more. Over and lift, last one, hold this one for me. Can you sink down a little deeper into that knee? That's it, bringing it up, foot to the front, other side now, taking it down, check, shoulders, ribs, and hips. Again, if you need more space, you just walk that foot out a little bit further for me. Good, leaning it over, check, Hand, shoulders, hips, and toes. Come back to where you were. Do that again as we go over. And to where we were. Two more. Last one's right here. Hold it for me. Push that shoulder down away from your ear. Nice long line. Come back up to where you were, toes towards me. Now lean it forward, walking it down, one hand at a time. Relax, place the hands on the floor, soften the knees, swing the feet back, find that plank pose, soften the knees, and come down. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me a little bit more. I want you to just drop everything and release. Now, shoot the tailbone behind you, zip up through the rib cage and push the floor away. Curl the toes under and tuck underneath yourself. Push the floor away here. Now release the toes, tailbone goes up to the sky. We release the belly down and we look forward. Curl the toes under. Now I want you to listen to your body today, mama. Maybe you need to hold one of these poses longer than I am and that's fine. We're all at different ages and stages of motherhood. Our bodies all feel different. We have different likes and dislikes. Why don't you just feel what's good for you? All 
All right, guys, beautiful job. I want you to have a seat now on the floor. Taking those legs out from underneath you and cross them. Now, if you're in this position, you're like, this is really uncomfortable for me, then you can absolutely take your legs out to a small V and go through this series that way. It's gonna be up to you. Take your arms out for me. I want you to find your hips into the floor. Put your ribs right over your hips. Shoulder blades, back pockets. Beautiful, lean over to the side for me. Come back up, place the hand on the knee and rotate. Back into the center as we lean. Now remember that hand that's on the floor, that's the one that comes to your opposite knee. We've got two more here. And rotate. Last one. Now, I want you to take it back over to that knee, and we're gonna stay for a few deep breaths. Take a deep inhale, exhale, soften down. Deep inhale, exhale, drop your knees. Inhale, exhale, stretch. Lift it up. Let's repeat on the other side. Now, through our little flow here, we lean over. Now, hand that comes on the floor is the opposite knee. For all of my prenatal mamas out there, you're more than welcome to go through this rotation. Your goal here is just not to turn your head all the way around to the back. You just take a little bit slight less of a rotation than our postnatal mamas. Beautiful job, guys. This time, take it over, stay for me. Take it over. Hold it, deep inhale, exhale, soften. Deep inhale, exhale, soften the knees. Deep inhale, exhale, stretch through the arms and bring yourself up. Beautiful, take your legs out for me now so that we're on a, a straddle diagonal. I want you to think about hips down into the floor, ribs zipping up and in, shoulder blades back pockets. Now keeping your back nice and long, Walk forward just as far as you feel comfortable. Give those toes a little wiggle. Now can you point and extend through the toes? Hinge forward maybe just a little more. That's it, mama. Now walk yourself in. This time, relax your toes for me. I want you to roll down, chin to chest. Shoulders, let your back curve. Walk it forward and release down just as far as you can. Give those toes a little wiggle. And then I want you to shoot your toes up towards the sky and push through your heels. Can you walk out a little further? And walking yourself back up. Taking those legs and crossing back in front of you again. I want you to find that strong posture. So hips into the floor. Find your ribs right over your pelvic bones. Shoulder blades into your back pockets and crown of the head up towards the sky. Now sit how your mama always told you not to. Now rebuild yourself. Hips, ribs, shoulders, head. Do that again. Just let everything release. Start at the base of your body. Reset the base. Now zip up through the pelvic floor. Shoulder blades, back pockets, crown of the head up. Release. Here we go, set at the base, roll up through the ribs, pull the pelvic floor up with you, zip up through the rib cage, shoulders, crown of the head to the sky. Okay, just once more. Release and melt. Now reset. All the way up, big shoulder roll into the top. Now mama, I want you to take just a moment here. I want you to be appreciative of something that you did for yourself this week. Maybe it was this workout. Maybe you took a shower. Maybe you called your mom or a friend. Maybe you went out to lunch by yourself. Maybe you booked a massage. What was one thing that you've done for yourself that you could be grateful for? I want you to bring it in to the middle. Ah, just love on that feeling for a minute. Now, beautiful, bring your arms up. Release them down for me. Inhale, come up. Come back into the middle of your heart. We always end with the most important stretch, which is your beautiful smile. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me for this flow and go. As I mentioned before, this is the way that we end our stroller bar classes. Our stroller bar classes are a combination of cardio and total body strength, incorporating movements from ballet, Pilates, and yoga to really strengthen you from your feet to the top of your head. We promise you that we will keep you moving and your kiddos entertained with our signature fun for baby activities as well, like toe tickles and playing peekaboo and not, not to forget moving that stroller around as well. So how can you get involved with Stroller Bar? Go to fitformom.com and find a location closest to you. If there's not a location nearby, that's okay. We are a fitness franchise and we'd love to have you on board as a franchisee. So reach out to us at info at fitformom.com to figure out how to bring Fit For Mom to your area. Again, this was Flow and Go. It's how we end our Stroller Bar classes, but this was just a sample. Our instructors are trained to teach you with a hundred different ideas, variables, variations, and flows to help you release and relax at the end of each and every stroller bar class. So again, from me, Jess Maurer here at Home Office at Fit From Home, thank you for flowing and going with me today. And I hope that you come back and do this video over and over again, not to mention join us live for all of the amazing Fit From Home classes nationwide. Goodbye, everyone.